My name's Chris Hunter. I run a, a website called Bike at Diff, and it's the world's leading custom and classic motorcycle website. When we started Bike at Diff, nobody else was showing the kind of bikes that we show. Whatever bikes have just been released would be the focus on whatever, you know, the magazine or the website. So I went to find more interesting custom bikes, and the custom scene is really dominated by Harleys and chrome and bling and all that kind of thing, which a lot of people are not into, but there isn't a website that shows the other side of customising. And there are a lot of amazing custom builders out there. So that was the starting point, really, to create a showcase for these guys building amazing bikes. I wasn't writing specifically for an Australian audience. Um, it was just a, a global audience, and so Google picked it up. It's about three years old now, and it gets about 1.4 million page views a month. I'm really proud of the way Bike at Ziff has become a showcase for custom builders. It's an, an outlet for some really, really talented guys to show off their work um, to an audience that really appreciates it. It's when I get an email from somebody who has never ridden before, usually a guy in his 20s or something, and they've been looking at the bikes and they fall in love with that type of motorcycle and decide to go out and get one and learn to ride and become a motorcyclist themselves. Um, and when you get people changing and doing stuff like that, that's, um, that's really satisfying. We live in a very um, regulated age. Everything's very safe and there aren't very many pleasures kind of left that are a bit a bit risky and that for me is part of the appeal of motorcycle. The other thing I really like about motorbikes is you see the engineering on show. Older bikes and custom bikes, you can see the engine, you can see the battery and the electric and that's part of the appeal for me, you can see the bits that are working. I ride every day, I ride to work, it's uh, my commuter bike. Um, maybe every two or three weeks I might go for a ride up the old Pacific Highway. Um, and then once or twice a year I'll do a big big road trip with a mate which might be two and a half, three thousand kilometres. My own bike is a Moto Guzzi. Um, it's about three years old. It's a V7 Classic. I wanted something that I could commute with but at the same time I could do a two and a half thousand kilometre road trip on. Usually older family members uh, who think, you know, oh my god, why do motorcycles are so dangerous and you're a father of three and how can you do this and you're going to get caught tomorrow, that kind of thing. Um, and then you get, you get the other group of people who mostly used to ride themselves, maybe in their 20s, um, and then they got a job, had a wife and kids and so on, and, and they don't ride anymore. And these people tend to be quite um, envious, really. And you can see them starting to think about getting back into riding. If I was to get somebody to build a bike for me, a guy called Matt Machine, he's a one-man band, but incredibly talented guy, and he's just made an absolutely amazing motor Guzzi, stripped right down to the engine and frame, completely new alloy bodywork, and um, that's the kind of bike I'd like to have. Um, as for buying a classic bike or something, there's, there's a hundred bikes I'd like to put in my garage, I wouldn't know where to start on that.